Struggling to find sound effects that won't get your videos flagged? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you the easiest way to get 100% no copyright sound effects. My name is Raheem Madison. Let's get into the content. All right, so the first tool we're going to be taking a look at is called Eleven Labs, all right? Now, Eleven Labs has a bunch of different things that it can do, but we're going to specifically focus on the sound effects in this video because that's the main reason that you came here, and I'm not here to waste your time, all right? So let's get straight to it. So as you can see right over here, it says text to speech, voice changer, voices, and it says sound effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on the sound effects button. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here. All right. So up here, you can see on these tabs, you got the generate tab, you got the explore tab, and then you got the history. So you might ne not necessarily have the history tab if you haven't done anything yet. Right. But I just want to let you know that that will appear. Now, what we're going to do first is just in case you're a person who needs things that are already laid out. Uh, if we click on this explore tab right here, you can see we got animals we can click on. And if I click on that, it'll open up a whole bunch of different sound effects for animals right that's for if you you don't got a lot of time and you don't know exactly what you want but you got kind of like an idea this will be like an, a template for you all right and then you got bass booms brass you got a whole bunch of different things devices guitars horror type stuff household type stuff so i'll just go ahead and i'll click on household type stuff and then as you can see category household now if i go over here you can see mopping the kitchen floor backpack zipper eating a salad shower ambience kitchen stove uh let's just go ahead and see what the kitchen stove sounds like All right, so it pretty much sounds like somebody is hitting on the stove with like a spoon or like maybe the big spoon or, you know, a knife or whatever it is, right? It sounds like they're in the kitchen. But let's just say that you heard that one, but you don't really like how that one sounds. Well, what you could do is you can go right here to where it says use prompt and then it's going to take you over to the generate tab. But in the case that you actually like this one, you, you could just go right here and hit download and it'll download to your computer. Now, one thing I want to point out about Eleven Labs in particular is that Eleven Eleven Labs allows you to download the stuff, right? Which means that you'll be able to download it and you'll be able to use whatever editing software that you're already using, right? Now, the other tool I'm gonna show you, I like it a lot better because it saves me even more time because I get all of the stuff and it's already there, okay? All right, so now let's go back to this. So where it says use prompt, this allows you to generate more that sound very similar to it. So I'll just go right here to where it says use prompt and then it's gonna take me over to the generate tab. So now you can see right there, and and then now you see it says kitchen stove. So when I hit generate sound effects, what it's gonna do is gonna generate other versions of it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit generate sound effects. And you see, bring your imagination to life, right? So it's basically taking text to sound effect. All right. All right, so it's taking a couple of minutes. All right, so here we go. So let's look at let's listen to the first one. All right, kitchen stove. Let's hit this kitchen stove. All right, sounds a little bit similar to the other one. Let's pause. There's another one. That's like somebody dropped something on the kitchen stove. Let's listen to the next one. All right, so that right there just sounds like, you know, there's cooking going on the kitchen stove. So there's a bunch of different things that you could do in regards to using that use prompt button. It just allows you to keep generating others that are sounding just like that. Now, it's not going to be to the T. Sometimes it'll be completely different. And then sometimes it'll be very close. You just got to kind of do it a couple of times so you get to where it's, it's at your liking. All right. All right. And then after that, what you would do, let's say you like one of those. All you got to do is just hit that same download button and then you'll be able to download it to your computer. All right, so this is the templated stuff, right? And then you can also type in what you want. So like if you want something specific, just type it in, right? So let's say you want dripping water, right? Let's just see if that comes up. So when I hit dripping water, you can see it says create a sound effect. So this is where it gets into some of the custom stuff. So like, let's say for instance, they don't already have that sound effect in the system. What it'll do is it'll allow you to, it'll create a prompt for you. And then you can say, I want to use this prompt. It'll, it'll bring you right back to the generate tab. And then at this particular point, all you got to do is just hit generate sound effects. And then it's going to generate you, usually it generate about four of them. And then once it pulls it up, you just make sure it sounds like what you're looking for. And you're going to be good to go. Now, the next one that we're going to talk about is a super valuable tool, and I can't wait to share it with you. All right. So now the next tool that's going to allow you to add sound effects to your videos without copyright is called Descript. So Descript is a full blown AI editor that can take care of all of your editing needs. But what I love about it is everything is in house, which means that you have all your sound effects, all 
all of your stock media, the videos, gifts, all of that stuff, right? Which saves you a massive amount of time, especially when it comes to this content creation type stuff, all right? All right, so let's get into it. So this is pretty much what it looks like. Once you got like all your videos edited, you're going to see I got a ton of them in here, right? Now, in regards to the sound effects, I'm going to just go into one of the projects just to save you, you know, time here in this video. So I'm going to go in my most recent project, which is the affiliate disclaimer video, right? Now, in this video, I use sound effects. So I'm going to just show you how the sound effects can actually be added, and then I'm going to show you where they are. So let's go to this one right here. So when this right here popped up on the screen, I had the whoosh sound pop up, right? And remember what I said, everything is in-house. So I was just literally able to highlight that section and then go ahead and add the sound effect for the whoosh. All right, so let me show you what that sounds like. So what does that actually mean? That means that if you have your link, you're right there. So as soon as that popped up on the screen, boom, you heard the whoosh sound, right? That's essentially what you would do. And it's very, very easy to edit that inside of Descript. All right, so now let me show you exactly where to find them. So I'm gonna have to move me over here to the right. And then you can see right here, it says stock, right? So if I click on this and then I go over here, we got a choice of visuals. So this is like the video stuff, the GIFs, the images, the Giphy stickers, backgrounds, whole bunch of different things, right? Now over here, if I click on audio, you can see this is all the music that they have and then these are the sound effects. Now obviously we focus in on sound effects here in this video, so obviously that's the section that we wanna click on, but I just want to show you that you have a choice for a lot of different things inside of here, right? So you can see how valuable it is to be able to have all of that stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and click on sound effects real quick. All right, so you can see there is a slight difference when it comes to Descript and 11 Labs. Now with 11 Labs, you had the templated stuff that was already there, right? It had everything categorized. And then you could also type in like, you know, text to sound effect as well. Now you could do the same thing. They have a search box with Descript, which as you can see right here, if I type in a sound effect, let me just type in whoosh since I use that quite a bit. So you see when I typed in whoosh, it pulled up all the whooshes. So the main difference is number one, Descript is a full in-house thing that has everything, right? 11 Labs allows you to download your stuff and it doesn't matter which editing software you use, you'll just be able to add it. But the other difference is you can you have templated stuff with 11 Labs versus Descript, you gotta know what it is that you want, right? So I know that I use the Woosh a lot. I know also I use the Clap. Um, that's that's another thing I use and there's like a there's there's a whole bunch of other things that I use So you just got to know what it is that you want if you're going to be using Descript to do this, right? Now do keep in mind I have links to both of these products down below in the description And if you do decide to use any of those it's going to allow me to earn a small commission Which I'm going to be using for the growth of this YouTube channel. All right. All right, so let's continue So let's say for instance, I want to use the deep sub impact sound, right? So what I would do to use it is I would actually go right here to this plus and I would hit add to project now obviously you want to make sure that you adding it to a specific section of your video that you want right now this is how you do that so let's say I want to add it right here right so first thing I would do is I would go and I would type the slash just like that and then let's say I want to end it right here so I would click right here and then what I would do is I would come back over here and I would click on the plus so you see, it's adding it, right? So now you can see we got this green highlight over here, right? Now, if I wanted to edit like how loud it sounds and so on and so on, what I would wanna do is I would first click on the main thing and then I would click on the three dots. So now I'm in settings. So now from here, I wanna click on the actual music symbol. So now we highlighted that and now these are the settings for that. Now notice, I didn't have to adjust the audio at all, right? It automatically did it. As soon as I added the sound effect, it took what I was saying like, with my vocals and then it added the sound effect and it made it match the level right which is actually pretty cool all right so now if I wanted to edit any, anything else like let's say I don't want it to go once and I want it to go for the entire time then what I could do is I can click right here hit loop and then now it's gonna loop for the entire time right so that's a very very valuable tool as well but I'm gonna just go ahead and put it back on once all right, and then you can adjust the studio sound as well. So if you want it to sound a different way on that particular area or the specific sound effect, then you can adjust the studio sound as well. All right, now let's say for instance, I'm done. I added all the sound effects that I want. Then what I would do next is I would come right up here to the file. I would then go right here to where it says export. I would then make sure that this is on video or for whichever one I have. And then what I would do is I would make sure my resolution is on max. As you can see, it's 1080p there. And then I would make sure the 
quality is on high and then I would go ahead and I would hit export and then I would save my video file and at that point I would be good to go.